Okay, so we now have our perfect sphere, our perfect ball. Now, if we have a quick look at the picture of a poker ball, where is it? There it is. We've got a groove cut around the outside, so we might as well do that a bit next. So, this sketch here, I did it on this plane. So I'm going to click on that plane and then start a new sketch. And it rotates around, we can drag that down. Now, here's a very handy button. If you press F7 on your keyboard right now, it'll cut it in half. This only ever works in sketch mode. It doesn't work when you're looking at the 3D model, but if you're drawing a sketch that passes through a part, if you press F7, it'll slice it in through where that sketch is. That way you can see everything. Otherwise you'll be drawing lines, because let's if I draw a line here right now, just a random line, you can see that it goes through the part, but if you press F7 again, this is what we started with, you can't see that line because it's inside of the 3D model. But if you press F7, you can see it. So we'll delete that. That was just an example. Now I want to put a little cut here. So first we need our center line. So and the center line starts at the origin, which we had at the bottom. Bring the center line straight up. There we go. Now what the um, computer has done, or inventor has done, is it's um, copied the outside of the circle for me, which is really handy. But, and I've pressed undo there so I can go backwards, if that doesn't work, what you can do, this project geometry button here, if you press that, you can cut and paste edges from outside of your sketch into your sketch, such as the outside of the circle. If I click on that, this yellow line is basically telling me it's a copy of the outside from another part into my sketch. Another piece of geometry into my sketch, not a part, sorry. So we have our outside and then we have our center line, which I'll put back in. There we go. So now I want to draw the little thing that spins around the outside over here, which I am going to draw a rectangle. Okay, now how do I make sure my rectangle is in the center? What I can do, and there's pop I can think of two different ways of doing this, just off the top of my head. The way I'm going to show you is using these constraint buttons again. I'm going to use this one here, where it says horizontal. This tells either you can make a line into horizontal like that, or you can tell two points to be horizontal to each other. So I'm going to click on the horizontal. I'm going to click on the center line, center of my circle. And I want the center of this line to be horizontal to the center of the circle. And you can see if you hold your mouse over the center, the midpoint of a line, you can get this little green dot that's the center of that line. Click on that. Now those two points are centered to each other. So now if I click OK, if I try to grab that top edge, no matter what I do, the bottom edge moves the same. It's always going to, this point here is always in the center, which means these are equal around the center. And I also, I'm going to show you another button, this one here called Tangent. As you can see, it makes a straight line touch the edge of a circle, which I want this line to touch the edge of this circle. Beautiful exactly what I wanted. Now I've got a rectangle that's in line with the center of the circle and touches the edge of the circle. So now I just need to tell how big it is. So I'm going to make it... How big do I make it? Let's make it three. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll make it mm, too deep. We'll see what that looks like. Okay. So now finish sketch. And we're going to revolve again. Oop, inventor doesn't not quite sure which shape to select, so we've got to try to select that little square rectangle thing. And then we've got to select the center line. Now this is the same with extrude. With revolves you have revolve solid and revolve cut. We want to cut. There we go. And then we have a groove. 
That does not look like the picture. I think we made that too deep. So if we right click on the revolve over here and edit sketch, I think this two, whoop, F7, there we go, now we can see it. Change this two to a one. I think that'll look prettier. Finish sketch. That looks a bit more what I wanted. Okay, so we've got our groove. We'll do some round buttony things on the front next.